What is going on guys? I am here with the Schmoes No. You guys probably know who they are. This is Christian Harloff and Mark Ellis to my sides. We just saw the first full Star Wars trailer <laughs> at the Star Wars celebration in Anaheim, California. What were your guys' initial reactions before I say mine? I mean, look, I just wanted to see it. I just wanted to, I, I wanted it to really happen. You weren't 100% confirmed. They liked to tease you during the panel. And then at the end, when they actually, the lights went down and they played it. As soon as I saw that Star Destroyer crash, I was like, this is the world I want to be in. My first reaction was nerd tears. And yeah. I, I lost my mind. I couldn't speak. I'm going to show it again because I want to actually take it in and learn more about it. Like Mark said, you see, the, the fact they had Luke's voiceover, oh, yeah. tying the whole thing and tied it with both Jedi voiceover and and now Force Awakens dialogue, yeah. amazing. Yeah, I mean, I loved it, guys. Seriously, that might be the best trailer I've ever seen. And I'm not just saying that as an extreme fan, because not only from a perspective of showing amazing, awesome shit, it didn't show too much. Yes, you know, it right. didn't you. spoil right. too much. It didn't show things that we don't need to know. Let's save some surprises. Let's have fun. Let's not just constantly have everything given to us. That's you know, it's great to see a trailer that gets you excited, that doesn't show you all that stuff. And my God, seeing Han Solo, holy shit, man! I'm t I'm telling you, <laughs> you said nerd tears, tears, yeah. streaming. Yeah down my face. I had nerd every, I had nerd shadow boxing. I was actually laughing a lot, especially when they were first playing the trailer. I just started laughing because I was so excited. Like, oh my God, that's a Star Destroyer. That's a Crash Dex Wing. All this cool stuff. When you break down the actual trailer, it looks like we're going to get a lot of the lineage of the Force because we got to see Darth Vader. We got to see, or at least we got to see his shell. We got to see Luke talking about the what the Force has meant to the Skywalkers over the years. So that's definitely going to be a huge factor in this new story. And seeing Darth Vader's shell, I just want to know what that means. Yes. Like, what is that have to do with the Force Awakening and I, seeing it. I have guesses. I have guesses, but I guess that's another video. <laughs> speculations. <laughs> speculations with the schmoes. But yeah, um, the Star Destroyer. Uh, also, uh, the shot of uh, Daisy Ridley, or Ray, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, helping John Boyega up. Oh, right, right, right. Indicates that this is a very strong woman here. A very strong female character. Poe Dameron screaming, woo! You know, because, oh. because Oscar Isaac at the panel, when they asked him, what, what is it about Poe? He said, he's the best pilot, uh, uh, fighter pilot in the galaxy. Right. And you went, Okay, so he definitely thinks that. You see him getting excited. Yeah. That's a character I'm very he excited He looks like about. Lieutenant Pete Mitchell from, from Top yep, Gun sure in is. this other <laughs> universe. I mean, Absolutely. this was just, it was such a celebration. And the way that they did the panel, leading up to the trailer, how they gave away just a little bit of character development without spoiling anything, yeah. they really know what they're doing as far as releasing information to the fans without letting us know too much. Yeah, and that's the way I felt too. They, they talked a lot about practical sets, the use of practical uh, effects, which we knew, but seeing like BB-8, the droid, being actually rolled out onto stage and being fully operational because I actually thought it was CGI at first when I saw it in the trailer. Not CGI. Not at all. Uh, right. and, and of course, hearing Luke's, uh, Luke Skywalker's uh, voiceover, yeah. seeing R2-D2, uh, seeing more shots of Kylo Ren with his lightsaber. Not always a cross guard. Uh, it sometimes it was <laughs> off right. the Star Destroyer. Seeing Han back, saying, we're home. Like That's the, that's the only we're thing home. he could have said. Yeah. Could you imagine a better line to be said at the end of this trailer? And Chewie just like looking yes. around. Like, it looks like they have recaptured the Falcon again. Yes. So you're like, okay, yeah, show me the movie. Get that's, to hear that's December. right. You, you not only get the hashtag Chewy We're Home, but you also get from this video hashtag Nerd Tears. That's Absolutely. What we all hashtag Get Me a Delorean so I can get the December. Right. It's not going to be his popular hashtag, but sure. We need light speed right now to get there. <laughs> um, but yeah, last thing, Millennium Falcon. Speaking of it, more shots of that in action. We get a little bit of a JJ Abrams crash zoom in there, zooming in when the Falcon you know goes through the tunnel. Yeah. Incredible stuff, guys. I love this trailer. You guys obviously loved it too. Uh, any final words on the trailer? Uh, what your rating system is like back when I was a school. Cool boy. So I'm giving this an A plus 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 a hundred yeah. extra credit, hundred and three. Yeah, I'll, I'll go A six. Sure, <laughs> <laughs> makes sense. Uh, the Schmoes know ratings, and for more of their incredible rating system, uh, go to the YouTube channel. Uh, go to, go visit the Schmoes know. Definitely, these guys do the same thing I do, and they do it very well. I love the trailer too, guys. And thank you so much as always for watching. Definitely subscribe to them. YouTube.com/schmoesknow. And if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.